What's up? My name is Blake and I wanted to make a video of my first impressions of the new Merrill Vapor Glove 6 model. Just picked these up. Um, I got them in the mail yesterday. Uh, these are the olive, green, and gum colorway. And I got them in the mail yesterday and went for around an hour long walk in them. And so far I am super pleased with these. I will start off by saying uh, they're super comfortable. If you've ever had, um, you know, the vapor gloves from Merrill, super flexible, uh, very barefoot, you know, hence the vapor glove uh, line, very flexible, comfortable, and breathable. And if um, you've ever had the vapor glove fives, which I do have right here, and I will hold them up um, kind of side by side, you will see that there are some differences. Now with the Vapor Glove Fives, they had a built-in sock-like tongue, um, obviously super flexible, Vibram sole as well, but some key features that they changed on the Five going from the older models is that the older ones had the toe, uh, the rubber that extended over the toe. So it looks like, well, I mean, obviously they have gone back to kind of their more old styling on the six model. And so they also, um, in terms of biggest differences, they have a regular tongue that's no longer built in. So they do have just a regular tongue. The outsole grip is a little bit different. These are super sticky and gum and feel great when you're walking around. So uh, I actually think these are a little bit more breathable as well and lighter. These are insanely, insanely, insanely light. So I am super pleased with these. I can't wait to put them through their paces. You know, I enjoy the fives, but these are just in terms of feel, I can't speak for long-term durability, but in terms of feel alone, these are a little wider in the forefoot and I really, really think these are one of the most comfortable barefoot shoes that I have ever worn. Um, just a little bit of a backstory. I actually started off with the Amazon Tesla Bear Trek knockoffs of like a Vapor Glove 3 style. And I um, then migrated over to some Witten shoes from Amazon and I got a pair of Trail Glove 4s, which I love these, but they're on their last legs. These are awesome shoes. I've taken these traveling, hiking, everything, working out, phenomenal. But the issue is that Merrill changed up their Vapor or their Trail Gloves and the newer models ever since the Fours are um, thicker with more arch support. So I kind of migrated away from them and the Fives aren't a bad shoe, um, but they're just not my favorite uh, in terms of look or feel. They're, they're, they're decent, but I did migrate over to using uh, Zeros. I have the HFSs right here, which are phenomenal. I use these for walking, sprinting, um, working out, anything really, day-to-day -day casual use. I got two pairs of them, but these are phenomenal shoe. And when I saw that Merrill uh, re released these, I had to jump on it because it looked like their older offerings, which are, you know, everyone really loves like the old threes and fours. So it looks like Merrill took a step in the right direction in terms of going back to their roots with a more barefoot feel. Um, time will tell in terms of long-term durability. I will update if I have any long-term durability concerns. But as of right now, if you're on the fence about these, I highly recommend checking them out, you know, giving them a go. So if these hold up, I'll probably end up getting the black ones as well. Um, but I have high expectations and hopefully these do hold up. I will put them through their paces and update if I have any premature durability concerns. Peace.